Hi, this is Kevin from Christ Connection uh, with a lie that you may be believing that may be destroying your prayer life. One of the things that I find even for myself is a question that will pop up in my head. Uh, is this thing I'm praying for really God's will? And some of them are things that are really things that God has promised or has promised to me personally, has promised through Scripture. And, and as I was thinking about it, it reminded me of one of the first lies ever told. Uh, it was the lie in the garden when uh, the serpent comes up to Eve and says, Did God really say? And I think that that's easy to creep into our life as well. The thought, did God really say this? Uh, maybe it's a promise that you specifically you saw in Scripture that God spoke to your heart or a general promise or uh, something that was uh, spoken over your life or uh, just that something that's burning with inside of you. And if that's the case, let me encourage you to take those things Write them down. Write them down so you can go back and look. Oh yes, God said this on such and such a day to my heart. This verse you know, came to me. Uh, take those verses that God's promised to you and memorize them so that they come back to you and you review them and go over them so that you can pray them with confidence. Or along with that, tell them uh, to trusted people, people you can uh, trust to bring stuff to. And then keep praying them. Keep praying them and praying them until the answer comes. Because if God's promised them, you can count on. You can count on the fact that He wants to give it to you. And then you can pray with the confidence and the boldness. And you can throw back at the devil, yes, God really did say. So I just want to encourage you with that. I hope you have a great day. Bye now.